you absolutely can expect that. You'll be checking the Aussie dollar in three or four months' time, wondering what the uh, gridlock is doing to the Aussie dollar, Sarah. Uh, absolutely, everyone in Washington expects that we will be right back at this with the same kind of uh, brinksmanship. There is one possibility for that not to happen, and that is this budget conference group that's been assembled as a result of this legislation. They're going to meet this morning over breakfast, see if they can get things started on the right foot by uh, filling right. their stomachs. Paul Ryan and Patty Murray are leading those efforts. The already we've seen the people who have been placed on that panel by the House members. There are some interesting members. One person who really stands out to me is Tom Cole of Oklahoma. He's a deal maker. He's going to be on that panel with, uh, with Paul Ryan. The, uh, the makeup of that panel matters. And so far, uh, some familiar faces on there, but there are also some people who uh, hold the possibility of being deal makers. All right, lots of faces there. Peter, I want to play for you some sound uh, from Senator John McCain on reaching that deal in Congress. Let's listen. We are now seeing the end of this agonizing odyssey that uh, this body has been put through, but far more importantly, the American people have been put through. It's, a, it's one of the more shameful chapters that I have seen in the years that I've spent here in the Senate. More shameful chapters. Peter, who is leading the Republican Party right now, and especially into the lead up for the next series of deadlines? Well, you know, it's, it's open season right now for who wants to lead the Republican Party. That was a not-so-subtle rebuke of Ted Cruz and others in the far right of the Republican Party in Congress who led uh, Republicans into what Bob Corker called this box canyon. A lot of people like John McCain predicted this is how it would end. It did end that way. The vote in favor of this deal in the Senate, 81 votes. You don't get 81 votes for anything in Washington these days in the U.S. Senate. So this is a rebuke to, to Ted Cruz. Uh, but it, it's open season. It, it remains to be seen who's going to lead the Republicans. Mitch McConnell stepped up when he needed to as a leader, put his own political future at risk in doing so. He could end up losing as a result of this deal, but he kept the country from going over the brink. And Peter Cook, I just want to mention also you'll be speaking with Senator John McCain for your weekend program. We will be talking to John McCain on uh, capital gains and coming up uh, even in the next hour or so, I'll be talking with Rob Portman up on the Hill as well, get his take on how this has all played out. Uh, neither one of those two gentlemen all that pleased with where Washington is right now.